In regards to cell cycle, there are three key st uh, stages or phases that need to be complete to complete the cell cycle. And to, to best express this, it's easiest to describe this in terms of uh, a pie. And so on your paper, draw a circle, and then on that circle, uh, divide it into four equal sections as you can see below. When you've done that, label the first three quarters of this interphase. Interphase is a point where normal cell activities are taking place. And there are three substages to this uh, interphase period. The first stage uh, is, is the G1 phase. And this is where the cell is growing. Remember, it's, as it continues to uh, grow, it becomes less efficient. And so at some point, there becomes a, a critical moment where the cell needs to divide to get smaller and therefore more efficient. But remember that interphase is where normal cell activities take place. And clearly, this is probably the longest phase of any given cell. The first phase is G1. The second phase here is the S phase. S standing for synthesis, but we can recognize it as the time where DNA replication is taking place. The third phase is the G2 phase. Uh, G referring to gap, so this is the second gap phase where uh, what seems to be very little happening on the inside of the cell visibly, uh, but in the G2 phase here where it's preparing for uh, preparing for the mitosis stage by copying all organelles. And so be sure that you have on your, in your notes drawn out the cell di this diagram so far of the cell cycle. Once interphase is complete, a new stage referred to as mitosis takes place. And this mitosis has four key stages of its own. Mitosis here is the point where the cell uh, is taking care to divide the nucleus. This is important that this is mitosis divides the nucleus. So the, the stages of mitosis, prophase followed by metaphase, anaphase, and telophase will be covered in much more detail in the next segment of this uh, tutorial. When telophase is complete, the last stage of mitosis, then the last, uh, the last phase is called cytokinesis. If mitosis is the division of the nucleus, then cytokinesis, as the name would suggest, the movement of the cytoplasm, now divides the organelles of the cytoplasm between two daughter cells. Before continuing further, it's important to gather a few definitions that will be used m multiple times throughout the rest of this tutorial. The first one is chromosome. Chromosome is made up totally of, of DNA and the histone protein complexes. This is a chromosome uh, seen in its characteristic X shape. And in the center of that chromosome, held together, is the centromere. Every chromosome has its own centromere. Chromatin is the second term, and that's used to describe the DNA fibers that are really unassociated with protein complexes. So here's your chromatin, where it's just DNA sequence, and then your chromosome is, is associated with your proteins on this side. As an analogy to help identify this in, with a little more clarity, we can examine it in terms of yarn. Yarn makes a good analogy for DNA because it's very slender, but very long. Chromatin is just the DNA comp the, the DNA by itself. And as you can see, it's not bound up, it's not very organized, but it is it can be used. A chromosome is DNA now that has been associated with proteins and has been bound up and is use is better for transport rather than for immediate use. So if a cell is going to replicate or copy a chromosome, it's going to start with chromatin. And so if this uh, mess of, of DNA is to represent chromatin, then during the S phase of interphase, we have the replication of that chromatin. So that DNA gets copied uh, using by, by replication. And then 
that DNA, which gets held together by a structure in the middle referred to as the centromere, that, con that begins to condense in during mitosis. As that condenses into a chromosome, now we have two strands of DNA that should be exact copies of each other, and the term we'll use is sister chromatids, and then of course those sister chromatids are held together by the centromere in the middle. So a replica replica replicated chromosome consists of two strands of identical DNA called sister chromatids held together by a centromere. This is a chromosome. These are sister chromatids because they're identical to each other. And this mess up above is simply chromatin.